The BBB is warning about a new technology scam that can allow hackers to collect your personal information while using a public charging station for your phone. 41 NBC's Trissa Wooten investigates the scam and tells us how we can protect our data in public. Hackers have figured out a way to either upload a virus onto your phone or to download data out of your phones, out of your connected devices, not necessarily phones, but all connected devices. It's a scam called juice jacking, where hackers try to steal your personal information from your phone or computer while you're charging those devices in public. Getting your credit card numbers, getting your uh, bank account information, usernames, passwords, um, but ultimately, it's identity theft. Pedro Ferrer, owner of a Warner Robins phone repair shop, explains that a cable cord that you'd use for an iPhone or Android comes with a number of small pins. He says the two pins closer to the edge are used for charging, and the others in the middle for from data transfer. Glass. Somebody has done it recently. So like from the eight up they have either on the iPhones and then the Samsungs and Google Pixels and stuff like that. Or they have a back glass. The that metal bags the don't system, transfer. Says um, Calvin Collins so. from the Better Business Bureau says the juice jacking scam has not risen in middle Georgia, but it is seen nationwide. And usually it's going to be in your larger, busier airports. Mm -hmm. That's where someone can uh, log into a charging station and be there for a while uploading everything without someone noticing them. Now phone experts tell me one way that you can avoid becoming a victim of juice jacking is if you get you a portable power bank, amongst other things. Um, either connect your phone to your own power bank or there's like similar to this one. This one is wireless so you can just put your phone on top of it. Also, keeping your phone's operating system up to date. Placing an antivirus software on your devices. And if worse comes to worse, wiping your phone clean. When something like that happens, uh, fortunately, especially with Apple, you're going to get a pop-up and say that something is trying to access your data. So at that point, you want to unplug and hit no. In Macon, Jatrissa Wooten, 41 NBC News. And according to the BBB, if you think your phone has been infected with malware, look for unusual changes in your phone's speed, data usage, or battery life.